Okay, we're working on uh, this plug for the uh, windows. Um, I've got my little uh, base plate out of fiberglass that I molded up from the uh, fuse. Got a piece of foam, sanded out, glued on there. I'm going to set the height now uh, that I want the bulge. Uh, according to Thomas, it's uh, one windskin thickness plus two. So I've got my uh, fence set up here, and we will just... Uh, Run this, yep, run this through the saw here, and that should get the maximum height. That's what's nice about this foam, is it really cuts nice. But you got to be careful because you can screw it up. So now we've got this, now we've got a manner of uh, sanding this down so we've got a bulge out on our window. I don't know if you could hear that, but uh, we're going to sand it down. And uh, that will give us our window bowls for the mold, hopefully. Okay, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to try to attempt to show you how I'm going to do something in AutoCAD. This is the uh, window uh, plug that we're trying to make. I want to make a little sanding jig that will allow me to sand this evenly so I get my bulge evenly all the way out. So. I'm going to try and show you how we're going to set up um, and draw a couple of little jigs we can use for that. Uh, the base of this is four and eight inches. So we'll start off by drawing a line, click on this, and we'll type in 4.875.0, enter, enter. And now we have a line set up that is um, four and seven eighths of an inch, if an inch wide. Okay, let me move this over here so we can see this. Get this centered. Okay, now the thickness of the base is 3 eighths of an inch. So I'll use my offset tool, click on that, type in 0.375, click on the base, click above it, and now I have a line offset 3 eighths of an inch. Now I'm going to draw an arc with my arc tool on the bottom line. Click on the bottom or on the end, click in the center, click on the end, and I now have an arc. I'm going to take the center point of that arc, drag it down to the 3 8 mark, and now I have my base. So now the foam outside of the window, the height of the bulge, is a quarter inch above that. So again, we'll click on offset, type in 0.25 and we'll offset that. Now we'll draw the uh, we'll draw a couple lines here on the end of the base because this foam is set inward a quarter of an inch so it'll glue inside the window. So again with my offset tool we will offset these a quarter of an inch inside that will define the boundaries of the second arc of the, of the um, foam. Now we'll draw another arc using those endpoints, endpoint, center, endpoint, and we'll drag that down to that point. Now we want these endpoints to terminate at the bottom of the base so we will click on it, we'll grab this endpoint of the arc and bring it down to this intersection. Grab the other endpoint and bring it down to this intersection. And now we have to find our uh, form. Now, we'll click on that. Um, we'll clean up this, bring this endpoint up to this intersection right there. Bring this in point up to this intersection. And now I have to uh, make a piece of wood. I uh, will simply uh, come out here to this line I've already drawn. Doesn't matter how long it is because it's just going to be like a handle. Um, bring this piece up to here. Okay, hit my trim tool. Cut this off. 
Okay, now I can delete my base, and now I have my form. Now my my uh, sandpaper will get glued in here, so my fat sandpaper, uh, I'm going to use my offset tool and set in 0 0.025, which is the thickness of my sandpaper, and offset that arc by that amount, delete the outer arc, and now I have my arc for my uh, jig. Now, to clean that up, we'll come down here and we'll hit trim and we'll get rid of these intersection points that happened on the offset. And we'll do the same over here. Trim. Hope this is still in focus. And return back to the previous. Okay, and there is my tool for going across this direction. Now, next one, I'll, I'll get this done, then I'll draw a tool uh, for the other direction, and uh, we'll see uh, how well this works out.